Hey the Potrat here. This video is about the three ways to dramatically increase your joint speed. Now if you had formal training then there is probably nothing new here. But this is for majority of people who are self learners. Alright number one, you are using the wrong tools for what you are trying to draw or the style of your drawing. Okay, I can't help but thinking about all the graphite artists out there, specifically the ones who are only using hard graphite pencils. Unless you are practicing structure, anatomy, perspective, manga, anime, architecture or graphic design, the theme here is if all you need is making lines, then graphite is perfectly fine and in fact it's probably better than most. But in terms of realism, if you want to draw something that looks realistic, it is not the most efficient tool. Now listen to what I'm saying. I'm not saying that you cannot use it to create great results. I'm saying that it is not the most efficient. There's a reason why 99% of art schools use charcoal. There's a reason why 99% of workshops that involve black and white sketches use charcoal. It is not a coincidence most contemporary realism flying artists use charcoal for their black and white joints. Here are some examples. If you say, well, what about those hyper-realism artists? Well, that's the 1% and it literally takes 20 to 100 x more time to complete a drawing and only about 0.1% of that 1% succeed. This is actually very related to another video I made called 3 mistakes uh, artists make. Check out that video in the description. Now I mostly focus on black and white drawings here because it is the most divided. Color drawings, pastel, oil painting, it's all good except those hard color pencils. I wouldn't make the same argument that I did for graphite pencil. Now this can be hard to accept and change for a lot of people who either are very used to using graphite pencil or they don't have access to charcoal pencil. But this doesn't change the fact that one is simply more efficient and more effective in creating shades which makes charcoal better at realism. Now this is only one style, one example. Find out what is the best tool or tools for what you are trying to do. Sure on a typical road, if the goal is to get from A to B, you can jog and you'll get there. But all else being equal, the guy that has the bike is gonna kick your ass every time. Unless he carries the bike on his shoulder for some reason. In which case the problem is not the bicycle, it's the way he's using the tool. I've had on many occasions with graphite artists telling me that graphite is better for realism. And I'm here just looking at the guy and it's like I'm looking at a guy who's carrying the bike complaining to me that he's slowing him down and I'm like, uh, buddy, you're doing it wrong. Okay, second point, the drawing process. Generally, large values, forms, background first and then progressively you get more and more detailed. Most people do this the other way around. You know when you are a child and you do those uh, coloring books where the outlines are already done and you complete the drawing part by part by coloring? Well guess what the way a lot of people still make drawings when they are older. They do the same thing, they're using a process designed for a child. They carefully do the outlines first and then they fill the drawing in with value or color or some gradient. This is not what most professional concept artists or fine artists do. They might do some outline to establish proportion, perspective, shapes of forms or a general idea. But when it comes to bringing the joint to life, it is always more efficient to first work on large shapes, values, forms, establishing light and shadow, and then progressively add details and refining the joint. This is not a definite rule. I sometimes go straight to the details of the eye. Although I confess, it is more for the purpose of the appeal of the art video rather than efficiency. I don't draw like that when I do commissions and videos is not needed. Here are some more examples from other great artists. Okay, the third point on how you can increase your joint speed by not going too fast for your own good. Does any of you play the piano? I don't. I know, as Asian, I'm pretty much a failure. But anyway, I know piano teachers and how it is taught. You learn the notes and you play the song and you make sure all the notes are pressed correctly in relation to each other. And only under that condition you start to increase your speed. And tempo speed generally increase naturally as a byproduct anyway. Same thing with drawing. If you draw too fast and you can handle, then you make mistakes. Not mistakes that you can learn from, but mistakes simply because you are going too fast. Then you slow the process down a lot from fixing them and having to start over or end up with something that could be a lot better. 
This is not to be confused with those very loose sketching practice where the goal is to well train your eye hand coordination and, and understanding the flow of gestures and whatnot. This is when you want to do a polished drawing and you don't check the current step is completed correctly before you go to the next part. This is when you put hard tones down before you made sure proportions are correct. And this is where a lot of you could say, well, I don't know how to make sure the proportions are correct. Well, since it is a skill you should learn anyway, why not spending time learning that instead of completing a lesser drawing and establishing a bad habit in the process? On top of all that, because you are not learning a vital skill, you are effectively putting yourself under a ceiling that limits how high you can go. Alright guys, I hope most of you realize that these are not very specific technical tips that only benefit you in certain situations, but broad concepts that if learned and applied would benefit you regarding art and other skills for the rest of your life. Any questions, leave in the comments and let me know if you like this type of content. Also please consider supporting me on Patreon, this is how I get my free time to do this. And I'll talk to you guys next time, cheers!